cut my hair, I only have four things. I have one pair of scissors, I have a wooden comb, I have a hairbrush, and then I also have a homemade oil that I use for nourishing my hair after I'm done cutting it. I always cut my hair after I've just washed it. I like to use the Kalia shampoo and conditioner because I find that it works really well for my hair. Then I part my hair to make sure it's the way I normally wear it so that I cut it evenly. Once I have my hair the way I like it, I spend a lot of time brushing it and detangling it to make sure it's completely smooth and ready to be cut. I start by cutting my fringe because this is really the easiest way for me to start. I start by just cutting a few centimeters off and then I focus on just trying to get an even line from where I just cut my fringe down to the length of my hair. This is something my hairdresser would always do when I used to go to the hairdressers. This makes sure there are no harsh cut in your hair and it just looks a bit more natural this way. I always finish off cutting my hair, cutting it from underneath because this just makes it look a little bit more natural and less just freshly cut. And as you can tell, I don't cut too much. Instead, I start with a little and then just do it over and over again. I find this is much easier and prevents any mistakes when cutting because I really don't want to cut too much hair when I'm doing this. As you can see, I do this on both sides and I try to cut between two to five centimeters to make sure my ends look really nice. Once I'm done with the main cutting, I just make sure that my hair is even on both sides. And that's it. It's really super easy. I don't really have a hairstyle. I sort of just have it straight in the back and a little bit shorter at the front. I really like my hair. Uh, I used to go to a hairdresser and paid quite a lot of money to go even just to cut my ends. So I much prefer to do it myself. My hair is completely natural so I no longer dye it or use any products or heat tools on my hair. I like to finish off with the hair oil to nourish the ends after I've just cut them. This is just a blend of olive oil and tea tree oil that I make myself and I find that it works really really well for my hair. And that's it. That's how I cut my hair at home. I cut my hair every three to six months and I find it super super easy and so much better. It saves me time and it saves me money and it's much better for the environment. Mm -hmm.